Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffin's Occasion series of MATLAB tutorials. Today we'll be looking at the Symbolic Math Toolbox and in particular Taylor series. So I've published the code. So we'll be just looking at the results here. And on the screen there we're going to for question one Taylor sign cause and then we're going to do a Taylor expansion for log x about one. So if we just look at one in particular on this line here. I've defined my function to be ex e x, and then on the following line, I've got the Taylor. So the command is Taylor of f n one. I might skip the others with just a little bit, and then if I scroll down, to just where I'm here at the moment. So you can see here, there's my ex e x now. When I call the function, if I just go back up to the function here, I just say it's Taylor. So it'll give, it assumes it, it'll, it's expanding about zero, i.e. McLaurin series, and it's giving me up to x to the five. So likewise, for here, there's, um, sorry, the next one, there's sine x. And I got the tailor and I've given it no argument. So when I go down here uh, for sine x, it gives me up to x to the 5 and it assumes it's going about 0. Uh, a cos x, that's grand. And then I have at the very bottom here the tailor expansion for log x about 1. So how did I say about 1? Um, There's the commands here. Okay. So highlighted there. Uh, I've defined the function as fn4, and then I've called the tailor of it fn4. 5, that will give me up to order 5. So and 4x about 1. Now, just as a note here, I'm running this is in MATLAB 2015a, and it's fine for there. And in class, I was running MATLAB 2014a, and the script here didn't work. So, but this works for 2015a, and I presume, and up 2014a, we ran into problems with log x, and we ran into problems about expanding it about one here. Okay, so let's go down to log x. So there we are, there's the Taylor expansion for log x about 1. Now, that's most of it done, but if we just go on a bit more, you can see from my, down here we have 19 pages. Sorry, but that's basically that kind of. So now we're going to say different orders. Uh, you can see here, I'm up to order 5, order 8, order 10. And if I'm not going to do all three. I'm just going to do one of them here. So. So you see here. Just one more highlighted here. Uh, the default truncation order is 6. So it will give you the first six terms. That will give you up to x to the 5. So if you leave out anything about order and expansion point, if we just go down to my answer five down here. Oops. Okay, I didn't get the result out, but sorry about that. But the command is grand. So if you leave out the, uh, the order, that's grand. How do you say here? Um, eight, so that'll give you up to x to the seven, and this one here, if you say Taylor x ten, that'll give you up to x to the nine. Okay, some more advanced ones again. Uh, we're looking at this function here. exp sine of x so it's the exponential of the sine of x minus two to two uh, we're going to plot it and we'll 
there for the plot. Again, we're going to estimate the accuracy. So, if I scroll down just a little bit here, here I've declared my symbolic maps toolbox using X as a symbolic variable. A for axis, so my axis, my left is minus two pi, my left and the X, my left and the right is plus two pi, my Y, the lower bound, minus five, the upper bound, plus five. And F plot, so I'm plotting sine of X, A is the axis that I've used, and K for black, okay, B-L-A-C-K, okay, and hold on, so we, we hold that figure, and then on the first figure we plot sine X, and then I, the reason, so if I just scroll down a little bit, sorry for jumping here, so there's sine X, we're plotting sine X originally, and then T3, so we're getting the first three terms, we're getting up to X squared. And if we look at the plot here, you can see it's quite accurate, say from minus one to plus one. But say if we look at even around minus two or even plus two for that matter, the error is getting quite big. And the further we go away from zero, um, the bigger the error. So you should know already how would, if we wanted to say expand around x equals minus four, we need loads of points. So I went a little quick there. So I define my axis bounds. I plot it sine x. This line here, I got the first four orders, so that would give me up to x cubed. And I f plot it that function, my approximation. And G text that's graphical here, that's graphical text. I'm, I just can't do that at the moment. You're able to write on the screen uh, sine x and t3. Now, you saw before that when we used uh, the first order tree, that you know, it was all right, say from minus one to plus one, but after that things got a bit funny. So here, I'm doing sine x uh, for order 10, so it's up to x to the nine. And then here, I'm getting the R, I put in R for residual, residual nine, the difference between sine x, that'd be the gold standard, the true standard, and t nine, your estimation. Define my axis points again. Do my F plots. Do my T29, plot that, and then here, plot my uh, 29 as well. So remember, I'm doing order 10 and order 30. And then here, I'm putting a legend. So let's have a look. So that's my error. So you can see here, sorry about that. You can see here that the error is very, very small, say from minus three to plus three, and that's for nine terms. And it starts to get close to be about three and a half, minus three and a half, plus three and a half. There I did sine x and 29 terms. And you can see that you get to about one by i minus 12, around plus 12, and they seem to be overlapping each other. So you could expand around x equals five, x equals seven, x equals nine, x equals 10, I think we're okay, x equals 12, we're beginning to hit a bit of trouble. There's my residuals. Uh, I, I got the apps, if you look at the code up above, if you can pause it, I got the residual. So I got the absolute value, uh, just so just to, so all the errors are positive. And there's just another one. Uh, 
exp suffix, which I mentioned up above. So you can see what I'm trying to do here. Red is the real function. Uh, T4 is uh, order 4, so that'll give me up to x cubed. And T6 is uh, x to the, up to x to the 5. And the whole idea is, you can see here, that the, the more terms you take, the closer, the, remember the red is the real one, uh, it's better. The blue only gives me uh, of order 4, so that's beginning to fall away quite quickly. So how did I do that? So there's my uh, order 4, 6. Uh, my minus 2 to plus 2, f plot. Now, RO means plotting in red and using a round circle, a zero as a marker. f plot t4, that's the approximation up to x cubed, blue circles, and gx is green x's. So you can see we get x's there, and the other lads are circles. Okay, so hope that's okay. Thanks very much for listening.